Hi, in this video today we want to talk again about toolbars. So by default we have this toolbar here, it's the standard toolbar and also the formatting toolbar, this one. If you don't like the toolbar to be here, maybe because of the space, um, you need more space uh, top and bottom, you can do this thing, right click, unlock the toolbar position and move it, for example, to the left. Also, we can do the same thing for the last, for the uh, standard toolbar again, unlock and let's move it on the left again. So now I get the more space on the left, on uh, uh, top and bottom, okay? So I have everything on the left. Or you can drag and drop and move it. I don't know, maybe something like this. If you need more space in the top of the window, or maybe you need something like this. You need more space to write something and you need maybe two documents side by side. Okay. So if I have something like this and I need more space, I don't know. I need more space in the top to see more of the tables. I can do something like that. Okay. Now let's close this one and let's move back the formatting toolbar on the standard one. Let's see if we can fix them. Let's move them again. And now we can lock them again. Okay, so we can do the same with many other toolbars that we have. You can see here we have many other toolbars that we can use and also we can remove from here. We can unlock and move where, where we need them. Okay, so if I'm opening again the drawing toolbar, now it's moving, it's um, floating. Let's see again. So drawing is floating because I remove it from uh, this arrangement here. Let's move back. Let's uh, lock. And now if I if I disable and enable again, it's remembering that I want to be uh, docked or floating. So let's disable again. Okay, so that is about the uh, toolbars. So toolbars can be docked, fixed or floating like you have seen before. Also, if you don't know what this is doing, you can not click, but just hover over these uh, buttons, options. And you can see, for example, this is a line right. And we have also a shortcut, Control R, Control E, Control L. So if I want, let's try, Control right, Control, I didn't remember, Control E and Control L for left. Okay, right for um, right, left Control L and Control E for uh, center. Okay, another thing is maybe we use some tools very often and we don't have here. No, it's not a problem this. We can go here, customize toolbar and in LibreOffice Calc, we can choose for this file or for every file we open with LibreOffice Calc. For example, if we use very often, I don't know, to print directly, not to ask what printer to use because we have just one printer, we can choose this option if we press OK. Now we have this uh, button 
to print directly. When I press, if I press this, I have a window. But if I press here, it's going to the printer. So it's very easy to change that. So again, right click on the toolbar, customize. And from here, we choose for toolbar what we want, what command we want, what we want to assign and where in all the LibreOffice Calc or just in this um, document. For example, if we have some special thing that we use only there, uh, we can uh, have that uh, bu button just in some files. So that was all for today. This is version 7.0. Okay. Um, if you report bugs about LibreOffice, if you click here, you, you copy, okay, copy all the version in English and after that you can simply paste.